Hey, good morning. Welcome to the garage today. We're actually outside on the patio here, and I'm going to do an autopsy on this. This is the front seat, the back of the front seat from my 1929 Graham. I'm going to be pulling it apart, see what makes this thing tick, and hopefully soon we'll be sewing a new uh, seat for it. So stay tuned. Okay, well, first thing I did was take a bunch of photos to show what it looked like originally, how many pleats there were here, and so on and so forth. And there's no easy way to do this except just start taking it apart. So here we go. Ooh, look at that. Burlap. Okay, I got that bottom piece cut open here. So we've got our outer outer material with channels, right? With batting inside them. And we've got another layer of padding here. And we've got our burlap here. And then inside there, you can see the springs. So I'm gonna take this all apart and save the fabric pieces as a pattern for the new pieces. And we'll examine the springs and see how good they are. Maybe some of them are busted and need to be replaced. Well, look inside here, that's kind of cool. So the spring portion actually looks very good. They're not rusty or anything, because that's the vertical bench. But inside here is this hard metal shaping thing that's the back of the seat. So this is gonna make it really easy. All I have to do is basically put the new material right over top of that. Maybe I can even use contact cement to put it on. As far as the top of the unit goes here, where the front and the back meet, there's a, there's a kind of a, I don't know what you call this, like a piping or a channel here on top of a contrasting material. Oh, I think it's the same material, but I gotta get this off here and figure out what this is because I'm assuming that the back is attached trimmed off the front is attached trimmed off and then this channel thing here is stapled on along the top to hide the two seams so I'm gonna get that thing off and see what it looks like so I got that piece that it's the seam or channel that hides the two joining pieces now I'm pulling off the back here so all it is is a layer of fabric some light padding here and it's just the joined to the back of this. You can see the edge here is, is wood. Gotta do some repair on that. But the actual back of this thing, oh, it's all rusty, is steel. So it's like a steel tub. Okay, so the back piece of fabric is off of there. You can see the structure of this thing. It's got some wood at the top here where the curve is. Wood at the sides here where it attaches onto the car. I'm not exactly sure what these pieces of cardboard are for here. There's like a hole underneath there. I don't know, some kind of ventilation thing? You got me. I don't know, if you know what that's for, let me know. Anyways, look at the back of this thing. It's this bent sheet metal. So I guess I can clean that all up and I'll have to do some repair on this wood here. And I'll get the front part off with the channels and then we can uh, start figuring out how we're gonna restore this thing properly. Now there's the channel material off from the front. And there's what the structure looks like. Interesting. So it's not just a flat piece of sheet metal, it's actually a pressed piece. It's got that bend there and these reinforcing ridges and the wood strip along the top. That's kind of cool. Like I said, I have no idea what those holes are for. Maybe they just let air through. And then you got the side panels here with some padding behind them that I'll take off and save to make a pattern. But it doesn't seem like this piece is gonna be that hard to, uh, to restore. Uh, I took the side padding off there. I got some wood structural damage here. That you can see, but I think that can be pretty easily repaired. I can just glue this wood together. I don't think I'm gonna cut a new piece. I think it'll be fine once I glue it. And the inside there, I'm gonna clean all this up. Maybe I'm gonna get a bit quick, quick coat of anti-rust paint. And I gotta take all of the, uh, all the staples along the top here out to clean it up and then I can start looking at my fabric to recover this so that'll be part two of this video I'm just going to clean this up now paint it and we'll get to part two later so thanks for watching take care